everyone, it's Kels at scrapbook.com and I'm here to challenge you today to make a mini album. We're going to show you a quick and easy small mini album that just takes a few minutes to complete. When challenged with making a mini book, it's important to just have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. Don't be so precise and perfect in your measuring and your technique and your approach. Just sort of let them free flow. In this example, featuring the Amy Tangerine Daybook Mini Album, also included in the National Scrapbook Day 2012 Daydreamer Kit from scrapbook.com, I created a small mini using the elements included in the kit that document sort of a time machine for my life. Things that are going on for me right now in 2012 that I might be able to look back on 10, 15, 20, maybe even 100 years from now. So I started with just the cover design, which also includes a little transparency overlay. So you can vary your elements a little bit, uh, make some of them pop up. It's a very dimensional approach. I put a small anecdote inside the cover and I said the purpose of my mini book. Then I went on to just put small photos and small stories about them, just quick little jots with a journaling pen and some alphabet stickers about what our family looks like now today, because obviously in 10, 20 years, we're gonna look different. It's gonna be fun to look back. The cost of a gallon of gas, The price that we paid for our house is a fun time machine element. I wrote down a few things that are popular now. Pop culture things like Adele, Starbucks, superhero movies, those kinds of things. Our dogs, they won't be around forever so I wanted to take this moment to remember them. The cost of a night out at the movies. I would imagine in 20 years, it'll be about twice as much. The cost of a flight to Seattle, which is a popular travel destination for us since that's where I'm originally from. Our favorite TV show right now, of course, which is American Idol. And my husband and I do a fun contest where we write down our top five contestants and we see who makes it to the end. And then I've got a few extra pages I still haven't filled in. I wrote some progress on a beach house that my dad is building. And you can see I've still got plenty more of these fun, funky pages that I can fill in with more time machine elements from the year 2012. Another great example of this book is done here with 10 things about my life in 2012. This is done by a different staff member and she basically just went through and did her top 10 by using some numbers of things in 2012 that she wants to remember. Her children, her husband, the fact that they painted their home, she likes to shop at Target, just fun things like that. Also using materials from the Daydreamer Scrapbook.com kit, Another staff member and designer of ours was able to take the wooden postcards from Kaiser Craft. She used a crocodile to punch the holes and added some rings. You can see it's double-sided using the wooden postcards. And it made a very simple mini album become something really, really cool. So the cover is the wood postcards and then inside her approach was just to take plain white cardstock and run it through her printer with some journaling. She used a heart punch out and four by six photos. And she made an entire mini album about her family, the things that are important to her in 2012, 10 things she loves. And you can see the very simple approach to this design and how fabulous it is and quick and easy.